the Veterans Wellness Project and the Veterans Wellness Friends and Family Art Exhibition are made possible by the generous support of AARP and Suffolk County. The Islip Arts Council put together a double-barreled art exhibition honoring our veterans. One gallery featured works created by veterans, and in the second gallery, AARP New York sponsored works created by friends and families of veterans. And outside both galleries, the crowd was treated to a USO type show with the Golden Girls, an Andrew Sister style quartet. It's definitely great hearing the stories, somebody who saw some horrific things, but managed to pull out the positive from it. So that was particularly nice. I suffered three traumatic brain injuries in the service and one of the things I discovered during my polytrauma rehabilitation is um, how the brain remodels itself after injury. And it's actually not uncommon uh, for the creative parts of our brain to get activated as part of the, the neuroplasticity of recovery. This is a black and white photograph called Twin Towers Roosevelt Island. Part of this is a reflection on memory and memories of war. You know, we're you know, many years away from, you know, 9-11, 2001, but how memory kind of imprints itself. So somebody else may have looked at this and seen, okay, this is trees, but what I also saw for me was the imprint of the Twin Towers. This is my grandson, Jamie Moss, and he was in the Marines for four years. I wanted to create a painting to raise money for pause of war. So I had my grandson pose for this, I had him hold a teddy bear. <laughs> And, uh, and then I painted a puppy and him into that. My first husband who passed away when I was 26 years old, but he was a Korean War veteran who was wounded three times. So I'm connected to veterans. I take original photographs that I took in Vietnam and I paint them. This one, for example, we call it Old Glory uh, because of the flag in the back. This is uh, strength, honor, hope and courage. Your strength is your blue angels. Uh, your honor is, of course, your flag. The hope is the brilliant sunlight coming through this and the courage is the Statue of Liberty. This was uh, an idea that I had during COVID when I painted my way through COVID. You know, the rest of us were home and safe, but you had your EMTs, your police officers, your firemen. I wanted to capture the mask and the glove to signify that, hey, this is during COVID and he's out there. I call this the shadows, and it is the back shadows. When you're in action, I think there's so much more going on that you could never forget. Uh, those memories are going to stay with you, and I think you kind of keep those hidden, you keep them pushed down, and so that's why it's the shadows. I'm really impressed by uh, the creativity um, and expression of uh, my fellow veterans. The ability to connect with people via artistic medium is also a really powerful way to, to continue that veteran connection. In my era is Vietnam. You have to know something. When I came home, it was a hostile environment. Okay, but you know what? That's all changed. You know, right now, is people are very receptive. The servicemen, particularly Vietnam guys, I see that in there. That's what that means in there. Thank you. And I tell you what, it means a lot to me. Mr. Sam, bring me out.